Teikao Yasuda is the founder of Don Quijote and now Pan Pacific International Holdings. After graduating from Kiyo University, he worked for a real estate company. But the company went bankrupt in less than a year and he was unable to find a regular job for about four years. When he was 29 years old, he opened a small discount store of about 70 square meters in Tokyo called Thief Market. At that time, he had no experience in the product sales business, and also he didn't like shopping. He didn't want to be a company employee, and when he thought about running his own business, he says that he had no choice but to start a business because he could only think of doing a peddling business. Customers came for a few days after the store opened, but after a month, there were no more customers. Inevitably, all the part-time workers quit and Yasuda decided to display the products himself. He had to do everything by himself and purchased goods were piled up on the store shelves. He left the shutters open in the middle of the night after closing to display. So a few customers started coming in thinking the store was still open. Yasuda was busy with the display work, but he took the time to respond to the customer who had just arrived. Eventually there were more nighttime customers than daytime customers, and gradually the store began to prosper. Still it was not enough to make a profit, and Yasuda thought of a way to somehow make a profit at this small store. Since the scale of procurement was small the price per unit became higher, which naturally led to a higher selling price resulting in a bad cycle. Yasuda came up with a way to purchase small lots at a reasonable price. Therefore, he focused on the samples and returned products that manufacturers and wholesalers had in large quantities. Yasuda visited manufacturers and wholesalers many times and was initially refused, but he asked them to wholesale their products and sold them at his store. The purchase price of such products is low so even if you sell them at a fairly low price you can still make a profit. These products lack continuity and cannot be replenished with hot selling products, which is a fatal flaw in common sense product sales theory. However, this shortcoming turned into a strength. Nighttime customers come to find something new to kill time, so it's boring to have the same products every day. However, different products were displayed every day, and there were items that were not sold at other stores, so it matched the tastes of the customers at night. Moreover, as the number of types of products increases and their shapes differ, it is not possible to display the products in an orderly fashion resulting in a messy display like a jungle. Such a display attracted customers' attention as if they were on a treasure hunt in the jungle for customers who came to find something new. This is the compressed display that will be referred to later. In this way, the thief market has successfully grasped the customer's psychology and has become a very prosperous store. This experience convinced Yasuda that psychology is more important than operations in the distribution business. In the conventional distribution industry products are easy for customers to pick up and buy. But the thief market was the exact opposite. Yasuda discovered that consumers do not just shop. They enjoy the process of discovering something new and fun. After that Yasuda entered not only the product sales business, but also the wholesale business. He began to resell the excess inventory he had at the thief market to other stores. And eventually, he started to make more profit than the thief market. At that time wholesalers were not very responsive to their customers and customers would bow down and buy their products. Therefore, Yasuda conducted telephone sales and introduced a cooling off system to differentiate it from other wholesalers. As a result, it became one of the leading sales outlets in Tokyo area. So Yasuda combined his experiences as a thief market and a cash wholesaler to create a new type of business, Don Quixote. 
He thought that Don Quixote would definitely succeed because both business formats were very successful. But it didn't go well at all at first. The reason is that the employees were operating the store according to the theory of the distribution industry. Therefore, Yasuda instructed the employees that the products should be displayed in such a way that they are difficult to see and difficult to pick up and buy. Since the employees are what the president says, they obey reluctantly, but hesitation occurs in the workplace. It became half finished and sales did not increase at all. So Yasuda decided to leave it to the employees. By entrusting everything from the purchasing authority to the display to the employees' sales have steadily increased. Since the purchase products were unsold, the employees managed to display them in a small space. In an attempt to increase sales, this inevitably led to compressed displays. With this, a store with annual sales of 300 million yen has changed dramatically. With monthly sales exceeding 300 million yen, Yasuda says that with a significant transfer of authority and clear win-loss measurements. The trick to motivating employees is to make work a game. Yasuda says that one of the factors of his success was doing things that suited his constitution. Many successful people get up early in the morning, but Yasuda was a night person and was not good at mornings. Therefore, the thief market opened at night and successfully grasped the tastes of customers at night. In this way, he says that you should do what you want to do according to your own constitution, and you should not force yourself to imitate the methods of other successful people.